Welcome back to TV48 Update. I'm your host, Catherine Pugh. I'm here with Dr. Ellis. He has written several books uh, to help you with your diet. And we invited him here because there's been such a discussion on whether you should have a low-carb diet or whether you should eat carbs at all. And he's written a book called The Net Carb Scam. And so many of us walk into the store trying to make sure that we're on a low-carb diet. And we might see a bar that says two grams of uh, two carbs. Uh, but that might not be what's really in that bar. Well, you, yeah, you've got a couple issues. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not what's in the bar. Okay. And there's evidence coming out that the, the information that they're actually putting in the box is incorrect. Mm -hmm. Pe people have been taking the food and sending it to laboratories to get the actual counts, and the numbers are not matching what's in the box. So you're getting buffaloed in two ways. False information is being put in the box, mm -hmm. and additional false information is by discounting some of the carbs that are in the box. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, how do, how do you get around You that? stay away from packaged foods. Okay. No packaged right. foods. Right. That's the way to do it. Just buy yourself a little book on the calorie content and carb content of different foods. They're all over the place. Governments put them out. Everybody's put them out. And you just eat whole foods. Mm -hmm. Just stay away from packaged foods. I never touch a packaged food. So, no candy bars. Well, if you do, you know what you're doing. Okay. I mean, things don't have to be that absolute. If, if you know how it works, you don't have to have this rigid set of absolute ideas. Okay. For example, Atkins, for, for most Atkins people, they could never eat more than 30 grams of carb a day. And I'll tell you from experience, very few people will, can consume just 30 grams of carb a day. All right? So that was mythology from the get-go. Mm -hmm. you know, and it was too restrictive. You don't have to be that restrictive. A low-carb diet does not have to be that restrictive for you to get a low-carb benefit. You have to reduce them enough for the benefits to begin, but they don't have to, you don't have to go that low. Well, with the, with the uh, Atkins and even with some of the other diet uh, or some of these exercise or diet companies uh, that shell out these various diets, um, they have these even regimented diets that you should, you know, recommended diets that you should be uh, eating. I won't even give my clients a diet. I refuse to give my clients a diet. Mm -hmm. Like a menu? Give me a menu. Tell me what to eat. I refuse to do it. I want to teach you how it all works. Okay. Then you have the power to decide what to eat on your own. Okay, so when you say teach us um, how it works, uh, pointing out... What happens to the food, food that you eat? Okay. How does the body dispose of it? Mm -hmm. Where does it go? Uh, what happens if you eat eight meals a day versus two meals a day? Uh, what happens if you eat the, this many calories versus this many calories? Teach you how many calories you need every day so mm -hmm. you know exactly how much food you should be eating. Teach you how to figure that out. Simply, not in a complicated thing where you're, you may, you'll write it all down for a little bit. Yeah, but even that's changed. I'm, I remember hearing 2,000 calories a day is, is what the average person... Oh, you, well, that's the problem. You mm -hmm. hear all kinds that's of stuff. That's what I'm saying. That's what keeps us so confused. That's, that's it. And if I, when I teach you how your metabolism works, your metabolism is, is dictated by two things. Mm -hmm. Your resting metabolism is dictated by your body size. That's it. Okay. okay, the bigger you are, the more you burn sitting here at rest. And you can figure all that out by a formula, by plugging your height, weight, age, and sex into a formula, and you'll know how many calories. Mm -hmm. If you really want to get it accurate, you go get it measured. But the formula is pretty tight. Mm -hmm. The next number of calories you burn are those calories you burn through physical activity. So I teach all that in okay. the book. So we get rid of that mythology. Mm -hmm. you know, you've heard all the stuff, people have fast and slow metabolism. It's right. all nonsense, total nonsense. The other great expression, we're all different. I haven't seen too many three-legged people around. <laughs> so, so we're basically all set up the same. All the same. We mm -hmm. just vary a little bit. Mm -hmm. All within the same rules, within the same structure. So, and you can fine-tune that on your own. So you've you got to start by teaching somebody the rules. Nobody knows the rules yet. Mm -hmm. That's why this thing is such a Wild West show. Because there's room out there for every new guy to come along and preach his idea about how he thinks it works. Okay. Well, somebody may say, rules, how many rules do we have to know? Uh, I actually I have a flow chart in this okay. book that Help covers us out. the I Help forget us out. What page it's on. Uh, <laughs> never find these things when I want them. Mm -hmm. the, the, the basic number one rule is what I told you. Okay. All right. The next important rule is how does diet composition okay. affect it? All right. Low carb is great because it reduces your appetite. Okay. Right. When you lose weight, your metabolism slows. Okay. So you've got to make adjustments in the amount of food you're eating and, and or in the amount of activity you're doing. Mm -hmm. At that point, you've pretty got, well got it under control. 
Okay. Now there's sub things, but none of them are really the rules. Okay. So the rule is that calories count. The rule is that carbohydrates are converted to fat. When you know these things, then that gives you the basis for understanding what type of food you want to eat. Are we going to eat food for religious reasons, or are we going to eat it for belief reasons, or are we going to eat it because this is ha what happens to it in our body? You've got to make that choice. Or, or are you caught up in another fad? But we'll talk yeah. about that in some more. Yeah. Or do you back. like it? You know, if you like certain foods. So, but you've got to know if you choose to do something that is against the rules, you will pay some part of a price for that. And what the consequences right. might be. Look, we'll talk some more. When we get back. Stay with us. We're with Dr. Ellis, and we're going to help you understand those carbohydrates and what kind of diet you need to be looking at or how you should eat. I think that's a better term. I think so. We'll be back.